the vehicle is safely raised and supported, we're going to come right under here to the oil filter. Remove the oil filter. That's going to give us better access to where the cooler lines are. So we'll just... That's right out of here. Got our nice recycling bucket here. The next thing we're going to do is remove this bolt right here. Use your 18 millimeter, loosen up this top bolt here. Let's see if this moves. It just doesn't move where I need it to. There we are. Let's use our 15 millimeter. We're going to remove the both of these, and then we're going to loosen this one and loosen the one on the other side. Hmm. Looks like we don't have to loosen them. Even better. Now, if you look up along the front or the top of the front differential, you're going to see a bracket that holds your two oil cooler lines together. On the driver's side of that, the area that you can't physically see, there's a 13 millimeter nut. We're going to remove that nut completely. There's the nut. Let's see about getting off the back side of that bracket. Put those two together, set them aside. If you come underneath the skid plate, you're going to be able to see this wire tie. Go ahead and snip that right off of there. So once I broke it free with the wrench, I'm just going to use my pliers because it's much easier to just continue grabbing this way. We'll get this line completely off of here and then we can move along to the top. Sounds like it's pretty close. There we go. Now that that first line's out of the way, we can make our way up to the top one. So now, if you're just doing a line on this, you shouldn't necessarily have to remove this. There's little tabs that you can usually squeeze, and then you can pull the line out. Ours is broken, so we have to do this. Nice. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and take off this hose right here. right off of there. There should be one leading to right here as well. We don't have one, but go ahead and take that off as well. Use your 13 millimeter on this bolt and remove it. Let's leave it like that. All right, let's grab this up and out of here. Set that aside. Get our 21 wrench on here. <clears throat> See if we can break that free. If you need to use a little bit of penetrant, it'll probably be helpful. This one's actually fair. Awesome. Okay. Let's grab one of this. See if we can get it to work its way up and out of here. There we are, friends. If you look right along here, you're going to see a little plastic lip. There should be another one right here. Ours is broken, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the one lip that I can and the line together, apply a little bit of pressure, and then we're going to try to get this off of here. Well, this is going to be pretty stuck, so I'm just going to use a little hammer. I'm going to give it a bonk and see if it pops free. There 
There we are. Now, as they say, there's more than one way to peel a potato. You can either put this in from the top and then down, or you can go from the bottom and up. I'm going to go from the bottom and up. So with that said, I taped off the end to make sure that no dirt and debris can get inside because obviously I don't want anything inside this line. At this point, I'm just going to go right along the other line that I have in here and then just kind of run it right up and along. It's going to make its way all the way up to the top portion of that radiator, just like this, this one like that. And that looks perfect. We'll leave it just like this and now we're going to continue on to putting on our fitting. Start it in there by hand. Use your one inch socket with ratchet. It's going to take a little while, but just turn it right in there. Okay, that feels good right there. I'm just going to take a look. Yeah, looks like I'm about halfway down the threads. That's perfect. So now we're just going to grab this little plastic piece by squeezing the ears and we'll pull it right out of there. At this point, this is going to slide right over the top of that line. There it is. Slides right over. You can see that the ears went over the nub on the line. Super important. Make sure this is nice and clean and then we're going to slide it in. Okay, it's lined up. Push it right in. Make sure you give it a nice tug. If it comes right out, you know it's not locked in. This feels great. Now for this one, since we're not replacing this fitting, I'm just going to put a little bit of this tape over it like that. That's going to help make a good seal. Line this up so it's nice and straight, and then we're going to screw it right in. Now to get this line on, we went ahead and we took off the fitting just like we did the other side. So to continue, we cleaned up the fitting threads. We put on a little bit of this uh, thread sealant on there. We've got our new clip. Just slide it right over the line. And then we're going to install this the same way we installed the other one. Doesn't slide over the line. There we are. Okay, that's in. Give it a nice tug. Yeah, that's going nowhere. Let's get this back on here. <laughs> the next thing we want to do is put the oil filter on here. It's a great idea to do the oil change while you're at doing all this. If you are, of course, you want to replace the oil filter and then put a little bit of lubricant on the O-ring. This is just a test vehicle, so I'm just going to put this one back on. I clean down the O-ring and add a little bit of lubricant. Now it's time to get this bracket back on here with, of course, our 13 millimeter nut goes right up here to this bracket and it holds both those lines. Should go through the hole. Now we're going to put the bolt on the other side and we'll snug it up. Okay, that's nice and tight. The lines are secure. All right, so we removed a wire tie from up here, so let's go ahead and put one back on. That's just going to keep these lines so they're right up against each other, not moving around too much. Trim off the excess, of course. Get it for 
protective tape off of here. Make sure your gasket's still on there. It's a good idea to put a little bit of lubricant on it. There we are. It's important to make sure you start this in by hand. Put this so it goes down like that. Okay, that's nice and tight. The line doesn't move around. Perfect. Slide this back in here nice and easy. Get our little hose up on there. Put the clamp back where you got it from. It's going to hold it on there securely. That feels good. Do the same to the other one, assuming you have one. Now we're going to tighten up the mounting bolt right here. Okay, so this all looks great. The next thing you would want to do, of course, is to clean everything down. You're going to check your oil level to make sure you still have oil in it. Run it for approximately a minute, turn it off, and then recheck that oil level. At that point, you're going to know exactly how much oil you should add. Get it right up to that maximum line, and then take it for a road test.